That's an armored vehicle unit, Snake. Either destroy the vehicle or neutralize the soldiers. Take it out. neutralize that armored vehicle somehow. The accompanying soldiers are armed to the teeth. Watch yourself. Not enough room, huh? We'll keep it here at the base.
Here again, we fought. I didn't want Chico to know, kept it a secret. Somosa's Guardia chased us out of Nicaragua across the Rio San Juan, and we ended up here. The only reason we've been able to keep on fighting. Amanda. The factory. You saw it? The banana factory. A front. It's a drug refining plant. The KGB set it up for us to run. We used the income to buy food and weapons. Mi viejo never said a word, but we all knew. Everyone except Chico. Everything we have, our weapons, our compass. He brought it all together. We were going to rebuild our country. Rebuild Nika with our own hands. Even if we had to dirty our hands to do it. But it's all over. We lost our cacique. Papa! I could never replace him. Now they've taken the plant from us too. There's no place left to regroup. No way to fight la revolucion. Here, I rolled you one. What about you? You're going after that cargo? Yeah. Must be important, hmm? Hmm. Looks that way. It looks like it could be nukes. What? Nukes? Madre de Dios. No time to waste. We must get to Irasu. The transport route leads there. It must be where they're holding Chico and my compass, too. Whenever Chico and I argue, he goes off to be by himself. That's why he knows more than anybody about their bases. He... Oh, Chico... You're pretty worried about your baby brother. This is why I'm not fit to be a leader. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm... It's a little bit out of my way, but... Just tell me where I need to go. There's a prison. Up in the mountains. That's probably where he is. A prison in the mountains. You must do something for me. If you can't save Chico, I want you to ease his pain. End his humiliation. If he gives in, if he's about to sell out his compass, please, at least let him keep his honor. That's a promise I can't make. Why? Amanda, we gave up our homes, but we're still alive. We're still fighting. And there's always another reason to keep on living. Uh, I feel alive again. Amanda, join my unit until you've healed up. Your unit? Yeah. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm Snake. Serviente. Snake? Could it be... the great cacique? Can you hear me? MSF here. One for recovery. She's wounded. Acknowledged. Kaz, the cargo on the barge. I was right. It's headed for the mountains. You think that's where they're taking the nukes? I'm sure of it. Let's move. Snake, Amanda's reached the plant. Snake. Amanda, how do you feel? Some first helicopter ride. I'll be perfectly happy if it's my last. As you can see, she's doing fine. I set Amanda up with her own frequency, so call her anytime you need to. If you have any questions about American bases or mercenary units, or about a friend, just ask. And please... Do not forget my compass and Chico. Don't worry. It's good to be working with you, boss. Snake, we can monitor her condition in sickbay. Remember to assign roles to any POWs you bring back to Mother Base. How this outfit gets built depends on who we assign to what jobs. That'll determine how Mother Base grows. It's one of your most important roles, boss. Yeah, I know. One more thing. Now what? It's about sickbay. Naturally, we can use it for the sick or injured like we did with Amanda. But we can't expect people to get better without the proper treatment. Uh -huh. So I figure we'll need a medical team for that. The number of team members and their abilities will determine how quickly the sick and injured heal. They can also monitor everybody's health. Right. Prevention is the best medicine. You got it. Remember to wash your hands often and gargle twice a day, boss. If only I had the time. <laughs> 